All right, I'm gonna go over how to create the menu pages. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is create a page and call it the menu. So let's start by adding a page and let's call it our menu. And then the uh, next step is under page attributes template. We can select either menu page or menu page two column. And the first one is a one column. So let's go ahead and select two columns since that's what we used in the live preview. Let's publish this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open it in another tab so that we can reference it back and forth. So, um, so the next step is to um, go under menu and let's start adding some menu items. So let's uh, actually, I'm gonna reference the <laughs> live preview just to get some data. So the first one is roasted apple tart. And then you'll notice there's a bunch of fields. So the first one is price. So you can type in price and then excerpt is at the bottom. And that's what displays right here, sample description. And then all the content up here, I'll show you how that displays later on. And then you'll just want to put it in a category. And so let's call this one main courses and publish it. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and add another one. And let's call this one uh, prime rib. Content goes here. Let's add a price of 35 and then excerpt I put sample description goes here and then let's go ahead and put this in the same menu category main courses and the way that we make um, the menu items show up on our menu pages is actually via widgets so if we go under appearance and widgets there's menu column one and menu widgets column two and then we have two widgets and one says with link and one says without link. And so let's go and we'll do one in one column with the link and then one in one column without one so that you can see the example. So if I drop it in, it's a real simple one so we can change the title. So let's call this one main courses. And then it says menu category slug. And that's just saying which, which category do you wanna pull in? And so if we go to our menu and go to menu categories. Uh, I actually named mine uh, main courses, dash courses, but uh, you look at the slug and that's what it's looking for. So if we want under menu and menu categories, it's looking for slug. So I'll copy that out and go back to our widget. And then I'll paste in our menu category slug, see how it says slug, and save it. And that's in the first column since we're using two columns and then now our items showed up so it's really cool and since we're using the one with the link it links to our prime rib or a roasted tart and if you wanted to have that image then we would have set a featured image um, so let's go ahead and add another category and or items and let's call this one like drinks so let's call this one soda and if you, let's go and just leave out the excerpt in description. Since we're not gonna use it, let's add a category that's called someone drinks. Let's publish it. And now let's go to our, our widget. And under the column two, let's use the menu without a link. Since we don't want a link to our drink because I think it's self-explanatory. And our category slug, if we want to many categories, drinks is drinks. Really easy for that one. So we've got that all set up. I'll change the title to drinks. And ta-da, we have our drinks. And there's no link to the drink. That is an expensive drink. Um, so that's all you would need to do. And obviously you can add as many different categories as you wanted to but that is how it is set up um, in your menu. So all you need to do is add categories and menus, and then the only initial setup is creating your either single page or double page uh, menu.